Now we see the applications in medicine industry. Medicine. The one is, first one is echocardiography. Cardiography is nothing but heart. Whenever the doctors want to check any problems in the heart, instead of sending very harmful radiations, they can use ultrasonics. They will send the ultrasonics to your heart and they will check the response of the heart, the, how the heart is functioning and that is called echocardiography. And second one, second one, ultrasonography. Using ultrasonography, they will create images of the organs of human body, like organs like um, gallbladder, kidneys, liver, etc. They will take the photograph and they will take the live image of the organs and they will know where the defect is happening. And using ultrasonography, they can create the images of the foetus in mother's womb. Foetus in mother's womb. Foetus means it's the initial stage of a baby in the mother's stomach. They can see all the functionalities of that baby, initial stage baby, which is called foetus. The third one, cataract operation. If you go to tennis before, the doctors used to do very major operation to reduce, to remove the, the fog, a cloud formed on the eye, which is called cataract. But today, we are using different types of methods to remove the cataract. One method is ultrasonics. They will send the ultrasonics into the eye. And as ultrasonics have high frequency, they will make the cataract cloud to vibrate so that it will, they will divide the cataract layer into many number of pieces and they will remove it. Which is a very useful application in the industry, in the medicine industry and which is harmless. This is another advantage. Many times you heard that when you, when you when you're getting older and older, there's a possibility of getting stones in the kidneys. And to remove the stones in the kidneys, they will send the ultrasonics like to remove the cataract and ultrasonic will make to vibrate the stones and cut into so many, they will break the stones in so many small pieces so that the, all the small pieces come through urine. In that way, ultrasonics have so many advantages in medicine department. Right. There is another beautiful application using sound waves and it's very famous also and that application is sonar. You heard about this word in ships, ships and any other types of uh, aeroplanes which are flying. The most advantage application of sonar is in ships. Sonar is full, sonar's full form is Sound navigation and ranging. Ranging. Sound navigation and ranging, which is short form sonar. Using sonar, you can detect depth of the sea. You can measure and detect the depth of the sea, and you can detect the objects beneath the sea or I can say under the sea water. Now how do you find the depth of the sea or the object beneath the sea water? Let us discuss. There is a ship on the sea water surface and there is an object here. There's an object and there's a transmitter and there is a receiver. Now the transmitter send the ultrasonic waves so that the ultrasonic waves goes towards the object and it reflects and goes to receiver. Say the distance between the object and the ship is D. 
and as this sound wave or the ultrasonic traveling two times here to here one time here to here another time so two times traveling the total distance traveled is d by assuming that the two lines are parallel to each other so the total distance traveled the total distance traveled 2d and the time taken the time taken for the reflected wave to go to reflector is t and speed of the ultrasonics is v so then we know the formula that v equal to distance by time therefore distance equal to vt by 2 so using this formula we can find the depth of the sea and also we can find where the different objects are uh, are under the sea water so you can find the depth of the sea and objects under the sea water using this formula to the method using the method of 